Hi. In this video, we are going to cover the installation and configuration of the Liberty Safe SafeLert device, powered by Alertus. The first thing we need to do is remove the back cover and insert the batteries. To remove the back cover, locate the side with the slot for a flathead screwdriver. Insert your screwdriver and pry upward. This will release the cover and expose the battery tray. Insert the two AA batteries provided with your device and replace the back cover. As the device boots up, it will have a quick green blink. Then a short time, this LED will turn solid red. Right there's where the LED is, and now you see it is red. We can now set the device to setup mode. To enter setup mode, press and hold the small white button in the upper right hand corner of your SafeLert device. The LED will now turn yellow and then start flashing yellow. In setup mode, your device will act as a Wi-Fi hotspot that your wireless device can connect to. On Mac operating systems, the wireless settings can be accessed in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Find the wireless network connection labeled Alertus and connect to it. Now, open a web browser, and in the address bar, type in 10.5.5.2 and press enter. This will open the Alertus device setup screen. With the setup screen now open, select your wireless network from the drop-down list and enter your wireless password. If your wireless network connection does not require a password, leave this field blank. Enter the email address you would like to use as your permanent username. You will need to have immediate access to this email account to receive the account setup link in order to complete the configuration procedure. Your SafeLert device will now disconnect from your computer and connect directly to your wireless network. Depending upon your wireless network settings, your computer may or may not automatically reconnect to your wireless network. In the event that it does not, simply select your wireless network and reconnect to it. If you did not see your wireless network in the drop-down screen, select Other. You may now manually enter your wireless network name, followed by your password and email address. Your Liberty SafeLert sensor is now connecting to your wireless network. A solid green light means it has connected successfully. A solid red light means it did not successfully connect. You may have chosen the wrong network or incorrectly typed the password. Just remove the batteries from the sensor and start again from the beginning. This is what your SafeLert device will look like when it successfully finds your wireless network. Three quick green flashes, followed by a pause, and then the LED will go solid green for 30 minutes. Following the link you received in your confirmation email will take you to the account creation screen. Enter your name, create a password, and enter your cell phone number and service provider. This is used to send text alerts to you if you decide to enable this function. Once you have entered this information, press the Create Account button. Now you are able to name your safe and select your time zone. Naming your safe is especially useful if you have more than one safe and more than one SafeLert device. Once you are satisfied, press save and continue. Now you can set up your temperature threshold trigger points. These are the temperatures that when crossed, either hot or cold, you can get an alert. Use the large plus and minuses to increment the temperature by 5 degrees and the small plus and minuses to increment the temperature by 1 degree. When you are satisfied with your thresholds, press save and continue. You can now select the alerts you want to receive, as well as the method of receiving them. Simply click the buttons on or off, and when you are satisfied with your selection, press Save and Continue. We're almost done now. Quickly press and release your SafeLert sensor's white button to immediately sync your settings with the sensor. Press Done to view your safe overview with its most recent status. Here you will see the temperature, relative humidity, door state, battery level, and whether or not movement has been sensed. Now, simply place the SafeLert sensor into your safe on the upper right hand side using the supplied Velcro strip. This completes the installation of your Liberty Safe SafeLert device. For more information or installation questions, please visit 
libertysafe.alertis.com forward slash install.